Hi everyone, Tarot Twins here. Welcome back to my channel. I am joined by Black Feather Tarot. Hi everyone. This is an urgent message that you need to hear. So if you clicked on this, you need to hear these messages. Important, the most important messages you need to hear right now at this point in time. So these mess you didn't find these messages, guys. These messages find you. They're finding you, okay? You didn't seek out these messages. These messages here, they're seeking you and they're trying to guide you onto something or someone. Yes, that's right. These messages have traveled the web to find you. So if you've clicked on this, there's a reason why. It can be for any sign and it can be for a cross watcher. If you've been meditating on someone, maybe these messages are applicable here between um, the both of you, between your connection. Absolutely. Whether you're single, whether you're couple, pulled up it makes no difference at all these messages here they are intended for you here okay so on that note if you were after a private reading with the tarot twins we do have a few slots available please feel free to email me with tarot twins as your subject line mm -hmm. don't forget to check out black feathers page i will link it below pay me a visit guys for more love content head over there otherwise we're going to lay out quite a few cards here because we need these messages to come out now don't we so we do let's start with this deck first okay and how about we go row by row Okay. okay, moon strength. Moon strength, the three of wands, justice, the five of pentacles, and down in the corner you've got the emperor. Emperor and the nine of pentacles. Okay, let's how about you do okay. the next row? Alright, I'll shuffle my cards over here and see what we get for you here. Okay. That's death here. Justice again. The Emperor again. Twice. Very close. What? So we do have One Justice side. twice and the Emperor twice so far. Ace of Wands, the Nine of Wands. Um, the Hangman here just hovering above Strength and the Queen of Cups. And she's placed on top of the Moon. Wow. Mm. Strong um, messages from the subconscious mind here coming in. And shall we give the angel cards a shuffle and see what the yes. angels here are whispering to you? Okay, what's that do we have in the corner? Helpful people, peaceful resolution, success. Okay, lots of success and resolutions coming up around Libra and Aries. So if you're dealing with one of those signs, that could be for you. Um, improving health. Listen to your intuition. Unlikely and no. Okay. Firm no. Down the end. No. Here. Okay. Can we just straighten this up. Okay. So we do have quite a lot of messages for you. We do. Okay. Scorpio, Libra, Aries has come up. We also have Cancer with the Moon. Okay. I really feel like we need to go column by column. What do you think? Uh, yes, I, I agree because I feel like um, you know the cards are sort of. They're, they're a little they're story, together. and they I are. think these stories are going to apply to you if you're watching, no matter what your circumstances are. So let's kick it off. Nine of Pentacles, the Death card, and Helpful People. Okay, straight away I get the past coming back in with the Death card, so this is an ex coming back for some of you. It can be someone under a Scorpio. Um, people are going to help your situation. You're getting help where it's needed. Professional help, spiritual help, your person is seeking help, you may be seeking help, especially if it's an X. Nine of Pentacles says there's an element of complacency coming in your relationship again. You're going to feel good about your connection. You're about to feel good about your connection. What do you think? Yes, I do feel like you've got connecting energies around you who I feel like are really going to help you to either move on from a past or heal a past. Heal a past hurt, a past situation, a past relationship, a past um, resentment. Um, heal and perhaps put an end to a chapter here or an end to a cycle and end to a relationship um, i am getting endings but of course we all know there's no such thing as endings where there is an end there is a new beginning where there is death there is always rebirth so i get that there is um i get that there is going to be i feel like yes an x might resurface but so even 
if an ex does resurface from the past, he or she might help you heal um, a past situation, okay, or a past hurt. But I also feel like you have helpful energies, you have helpful connecting energies around you who want to help you and who want to give you the emotional support that you deserve. Yeah, there's there's divine intervention I feel um, with an ex here. So mm -hmm. you've got the universe is backing you with a connection and you're going to find complacency once again. Definitely. Okay, and over the next column, I'm, I'm a little unfamiliar with these cards here. So we've um, got the Emperor, the Justice card and Peaceful Resolution. Okay, we've got the Emperor and Justice. Okay, I feel like Justice also speaks of karmic justice. I'm getting strong cause and effect here happening. Karmic connections. Karmic connections, the end or the beginning of karmic cycles. You have death who mm -hmm. faces justice here. Mm -hmm. um, peaceful re resolution. I couldn't get that out. Okay. Where there is conflict, there is bound to be peace. Okay. Yes. For a lot of you, you are... Some of you I feel like are tying up loose ends. Some of you, as I do, feel like very strongly that right now feels a very uncomfortable kind of energy because you're going through a cycle and you go, you're heading towards the end of the cycle and you're excitedly beginning a new cycle. Okay, and I'm seeing peaceful resolution here. So yes. with there's been some stress or some very maybe negative heavy energy, that's about to lift here for you. Yes, if someone's been harsh, been cold, been distant, you're about to get some answers. Justice is finalizing things. You're making this is about your status changing um, and coming into a more peaceful energy. So you're going to start to see a softer side to someone mm -hmm. or you're going to be more softer in your approach and mm -hmm. connection as well. I'm also getting apologies, okay, where there was mm. apologies of the Jews. That's coming in, okay, from a connecting energy, from an ex. I'm getting explanations, okay, where yeah. you had no answers. You're finally getting the answers and the mental clarity that you deserve, guys. Yes, they've been so stubborn for so long, and now they're going to they're gonna have a more peaceful, a more sensitive they'll approach. They'll soften, won't they? They'll yeah. soften a little bit. Yeah. Um, okay, and then we're moving on to, I mean, we've got the emperor here again. Okay. We've so got success. Aries, success and, and the five, the five, of, five pentacles. of pentacles. Okay. Okay, so what I'm seeing is success success coming from a very um, draining situation mm -hmm, okay mm -hmm. success is on the horizon especially if you felt abandoned or you've sort of been left by this wall yes. it's half built though so we've yes. got solid foundations the emperor comes in and makes all those wonderful things happen so you're about to see someone start something the emperor is the initiator he's the beginning of the zodiac um, and he's going to bring in a lot of success for me, the Emperor is a very stubborn energy, which could be both good and bad. But in this case, I feel like it's working for you, not against you guys. For those of you who have been going through a tumultuous situation, if you've been down on your luck in terms of love and romance and relationships, if you feel like you, you know, you've hit emotional rock bottom, some of you, though, I feel like a lot of you have been hanging in there. You've been persistent here. And I'm seeing that there is a payoff, okay? There's going to be success. So the Five of Pentacles, the way that they're lined up here, it's like there's a light at the end of the tunnel, okay? And you are inching very closely towards this light, okay? There's, you know, peaceful resolution coming in there's that light at the end of the tunnel which is here to light up your darkness here so for a lot of you I'm seeing success in terms of love and romance absolutely and I do want to say for those singles watching you're about to have your emperor whether male or female come in and give you all this success especially if you want to be looked after psychologically emotionally financially this emperor is a powerful energy and it can certainly make things happen for you but the question is he coming in to build an empire with them Wow, the power couple. Mm -hmm. Beautiful the energy there. Dynamic duo, right? Dynamic duo. I love that. Um, let's have a look at the next column. We do have the Justice card, Ace of Wands, and Improving Health. Improving Health. Straight justice. away, I think of mental health. The swords mm -hmm. do represent the mind, communication, mental, energy, mental exertion. Mm -hmm. um, and it's really like triumphing over the snake. Now, the snake, the serpent, can indicate deceit, things that are mm. sneaky, things that are hidden. And you're cutting ties with that. So if you're coming into that energy... Wow, look at that. Ace of Wands, Hand of God, the universe, spirit, call it what you will. Your, the way you're thinking about a situation and the way your person is thinking about a situation is really improving. Mm, beautiful imagery. And just the way that you've put it, you know, there are certain people that, as you mentioned, you're cutting ties with. And when you do, um, A, First of all, you're cutting ties with these people because they've actually handed you the scissors, or in this case, the weapon or the knife to which yes. you need to cut those ties. You've taken the action. You're taking the action. It's going to usher in a new beginning for you, okay? And it's also going to improve your health mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. You're going to feel a lot more relieved and you're going to feel a lot more healthier. You're going to feel so much more you than you've ever been before, okay? Some people 
they've um, the expiration date is up okay they no mm. longer serve a purpose in your life they've done all that you can, they can do okay and if you continue to you know keep these people if you continue to keep ties here um I feel like they're only going to weigh you down mm. and I feel like they're going to drain you and deplete you of that emotional and mental energy. Yes. They're emotional vampires is what I call them. Yes. And, but if you aren't cutting ties with something, with someone or a relationship, the overall health of your relationship could also be improving here. The ties that we're seeing could be um, someone cutting, cutting away from their toxic behaviors, their addictions, anything that is detrimental to the health of your relationship. So mm -hmm. you're seeing, you're seeing the overall mm -hmm. um, health to your relationship that that's being improved here as well yes and I do feel like for some of you you're leaving things behind in order to start new beginnings mm. okay so yeah as you've mentioned you know it's sort of like a renewal if you will rejuvenation yes. renewal um, a lot of new energy the aces usher in new beginnings newness new energies here coming in which is going to improve your overall health and that's that's wonderful Let's go over to the next column. We've got the three of wands, the nine of wands, and listen to your intuition. Okay, straight away, there's a very guarded or protective energy here. If someone is guarded or is distant, you must understand that they're trying to listen to their intuition. They've been hurt before and they're trying to protect themselves. There's a curiosity because you can see she's bent down here and she looks into this what looks like a portal. Mm -hmm. So straight away, I get the sense that there's someone here looking at your social media, trying to find out where you are, where you've been been they're trying to do it subtly okay um, they're listening to their intuition and their intuition is is telling them to either check up on you or your intuition in this situation is telling you to check up on them the three of ones is a card of long distance for me so long distance mm -hmm. love long distance future this is a connection that's very likely um, it's almost like the your inner psyche is telling you that this connection uh, has the potential to become long term so powerful long term energy absolutely in the right away deck the three of ones is represented by a cloaked figure who looks ahead okay mm. this card is a card it's symbolic of um expansion of looking ahead of long term um you know of planning here of make, making future plans and making future commitments here i get a strong sense there is someone here whether this is your energy or your connecting romantic energy here someone i feel like wants to move forward okay someone has they think about you they think about how you fit into their future or you think about how they would fit into your future the two of you want to develop future plans together but then the nine of wands tells me someone is scared so sometimes we want something but that very thing that we want scares us okay because mm. i feel like someone wants a future with you they want to get married they want to get engaged they want to move in with you they want this connection but they're scared there's something here that holds them back mm -hmm. funnily enough a lot of people are just as afraid of success as they are failure and this is what i feel like is happening here in this case you're the angels here are whispering to listen to your intuition so you know despite whatever signs synchronicities or despite what everything else around you is you know telling you i feel like it's very important to listen to your intuition because i feel like your intuition is going to um guide you here okay and it's going to guide you and it's going to light your path forward here so sometimes you know whether you're scared um to do something or not your intuition here is definitely your best friend in this case absolutely and for them to know that they too are being guided to their intuition so they're trying to mm -hmm. listen to that but they're also trying to channel your energy and mm -hmm. there's a lot going on no wonder they're so protected they're, they're overwhelmed they're, absolutely Okay, let's go over to the next column. We've got the strength card. We've got the hangman and unlikely. Okay, so straight away, Leo energy is very powerful. Okay, it's dominating that column. I get the sense with this roaring lion, there's a very intimidating situation or a situation that maybe escalated or went a little bit too far. The hangman to me says that someone is being punished, whether it's through mm. no contact, the silent treatment, maybe this the lion's roar. Okay, this has been very powerful, and as a result, it's turned things on its head. And right now, where things stand, it's unlikely. But we can change the approach. There's a message here for some of you that are most drawn to this column that your approach needs to be changed. And perhaps we need to invite a more softer, more sensitive, more caring approach to a certain situation. Because something that you're doing, you know, it's very powerful. It's got the strength card, but it may not be achieving the results you're wanting. It's turning things upside down. It's making you feel reversed. It's making your relationship feel reversed. And suddenly we've got 
unlikeliness. Mm. This is pessimism coming in. It is pessimism, but at the same time, uh, it's the card that I'm most drawn to here out of this row. Unlikely, okay? Sometimes the answer is no, okay? Sometimes the answer is a firm, resounding no, and that's okay. There's a beauty in no. There's also a beauty in unlikely. Just because something is not happening for you right now, at this point in time, at this second, at this minute, doesn't mean that it's not going to happen for you at all, okay? Sometimes things do not happen according to our timeline, okay? Sometimes things happen mm. outside of our timeline. But that's because the universe has bigger, better opportunities, much more wondrous opportunities for you. And you're going to have to be patient. I do feel that there's a situation that's testing your strength, your character. And you know what? You've probably given too much of yourself to, away to someone or something. You've been very patient, but nothing is happening. Nothing is going the way that you want it to be. And that's okay, because I do feel like although something is not happening right now, it's unlikely to happen now or you know in the next few weeks. I do feel like it'll happen in divine timing in divine orchestration here so be patient and the hangman as well i feel like it's urging you to look at things maybe what you're doing try and do something differently because the hangman hangs upside down so he can get a different angle different perspective right guys so try and take on a different approach as you said try and look at things from a different situation sometimes mm -hmm. when we look at things differently the very thing that we look at changes all of a sudden shift your mental perception and everything in your outside world in your exterior world is going to change so the reason why it's not happening because i feel like you're doing too much of the same thing and you're, you're getting the same results try and do things differently to generate different results in the last row we've got the moon the queen of cups and a no here okay strong water energy on that mm -hmm. side the moon does represent cancer so for those dealing with that sign this may be more applicable to you we've got the queen of cups the moon and the no okay so there's someone who is emotionally resistant to a situation right now yes um there is an element of rejection here the boat can symbolize moving on in a situation or trying to move on but i really want to say that with the queen of cups here it doesn't mean that they've moved on emotionally entirely if that makes any sense it can indicate that there's residual feelings that are left in a situation in particular if you've had if you have heard no's or there's been rejections or you feel like your love is being rejected i get the sense that there could be a water sign who's very hurt right now okay or someone who is emotionally very very hurt now i feel like it may be temporary i don't think it's a long-term commitment i don't think it's a long-term no i would say that you need to be patient in this situation because you know we don't see rocky uh, rocky seas it's very flat the boat is sort of just going to sail along mm -hmm. so I, I do get the uh, the words that come to mind here are coasting along and it's a question you need to ask yourself is a connection just coasting along just on the surface is there depth or is there more depth you can invite into the connection? Can you do some romantic things? Can you invite that love back in? Because if you've, if you've heard the no, have you done enough to turn that around and turn it into a yes? But it can also be you watching. You might be the one that's in an energy of no. Mm -hmm. It can be the past. The moon can also rule past attachments. Um, sentimentality, nostalgia. There could be someone who's you told no, and this person is still lingering. They're still coasting along, thinking about you, or still emotionally attached to you. Mm -hmm. This could be all about you, though. It could also be all about your romantic energy. To me, the moon card here is a strong sense of duality. I get that someone here on a spiritual level, someone here is in limbo between the physical realm and mm -hmm. the emotional realm. We've got the wild dog, we've got the tame dog, and then you're torn somewhere in between. So for, for me i feel like it's either yourself or a very strong romantic connecting energy here who is stuck maybe this person has moved on from you in the physical world but emotionally they're still stuck on you okay um, and maybe they told you no when what they really meant to say was yes or maybe or at least give it time maybe you've said no and when what you really wanted to say was yes or maybe or you know let's um let's give it some time here the queen of cups is the most of course intuitive um and she's the most in touch with her emotions out of the whole tarot deck here and the moon does rule the subconscious mind so i feel like subconsciously here whether you realize it or not guys there are some messages or there are some i feel like there could be some dreams that have come to you through a subconscious level or there are some messages that are buried here for you some memories as well or some emotions that are buried underneath us like um on a subconscious level here on a subconscious realm so 
perhaps it's a good idea to explore here, explore those emotions, those feelings, or those memories. And I feel like the best way to do it is through dreams, okay? Because the moon here hangs pretty in the sky during the night time. So I feel like the best way to sort of explore those um, buried emotions or buried memories is through your dreams here, okay? And like I said, there's a beauty in no here. There is a beauty in no, okay? Um... And I feel like no in itself is a complete sentence. Mm. Right? I mean, I'm questioning that last column. I really am because I feel like there is no, but I don't feel like someone's entirely done. I don't mm. think they're emotionally detached because the moon has come up. The moon is emotion. It's being drawn to something. It's the subconscious. So even if someone is telling you no, their subconscious could be saying something completely something opposite. Else. Yeah. Mm. So I think that's sort of like a to be continued, that one. Mm, it's quite ambiguous. On a, yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, and I guess we will leave you. So that with that, there's a lot of messages here for you. Hopefully, you found some golden nuggets. Some that some resonate. Yeah. Yes. We want to thank you all for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you for your time and attention. Um, please show your support by um, subscribing to the channel, Felicity Tarot, and myself, Black Feather Tarot. Um, we are two different tarot readers, guys. Um, <laughs> And for those of you that are interested in a personalized tarot reading, both with myself and Felicity, please feel free to reach out and inquire with the subject line Tarot Twins. Yes, that's right. I really appreciate you joining. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Um, stay tuned. We've got a lot more content coming your way on my channel. So we will see you soon. Bye, guys. Bye for now.